You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Good morning, Talos. Warning, tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security.
Hit target. No type of material detected. In 2030, Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. In 1963, a top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos I. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Science critical. Science critical.
code to your office is 0451. No alien material detected. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. I found 
every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck.